Hello, I'm Ryan, and welcome to Analyze This, Mr. Bond, my channel where I discuss the adventures of James Bond 007 and dig for what lies beneath the surface. And today we're discussing Global James Bond Day, which is an opportunity to reflect not just on the hugely popular film series, but the community that supports it, and my channel, my small little corner of the Bond community, and how that's grown in the past year. Certainly we haven't seen a lot of real news surrounding the Bond film franchise this year. Uh, there have been moments of dismay about that, but what we've really seen is the Bond community rise to the challenge and fill the gap. I can't recall a year where I've seen so much activity from the Bond community. I mean, there are Bond events all over the map, and they are all so very much worth being excited for. I, I really think it's fantastic to see so much momentum from the Bond community, and that, that momentum really come in the, the vacuum of, of there not being a lot of mo momentum around a Bond film. Certainly, you're starting to see the official wheels move uh, now that the Goldfinger anniversary is really taking off. And that's exciting in its own way. There are a lot of celebrations planned for that. But altogether, between now the official celebrations and the fan celebrations that were already in the works, it just feels like we're, we're going to finish the year on a strong note around, you know, celebrating this fictional character and his legacy. And that's pretty cool. Um, alongside with that, I look, back at the history of my channel in the past year, and my channel's grown in leaps and bounds. I'm still, relatively speaking, you know, a small creator, and I'm, I'm happy to be humble in what I do here. I'm, I'm flattered that anyone is interested in my ramblings and appreciates the point of view that I've brought to the Bond movies. My channel is going to continue to evolve here. I'm you know, right at the tail end of my analysis of the core 25 Bond movies, and we'll wrap that up as well as, a, you know, some follow-on videos on some of the unofficial Bond entries. And stay tuned for things about, you know, the Bond books. I need to circle back to the Bond comics and all that good stuff. But I'm also going to continue to try to find new ways to to explore this broader Bond phenomenon from the point of view that you've come to know from me. Um, I'm really excited about that. I mean, I honestly, the engagement I've had with you all has been so wonderful. I've made so many good friends in the, the past uh, few years from participating in the online Bond community. It's It just fills me with so much joy. So I really, really just want to say a deep heartfelt thank you to you all. Thank you to um, every single one who's left a comment, anyone who's ever watched a video. It's it's just a delight to know that, you know, someone's out there watching. And I do this in many ways for the connection with people, not for, um, not just to put my ideas out into the ether. I don't think, you know, my perspective is I don't put my own perspectives on a pedestal. I just really enjoy talking to people. And that's why I do this channel. Um, and that's why it's been exciting to see engagement grow because I've just gotten to meet and talk to so many different people over the past year. But to celebrate Global James Bond Day, I thought I would finally deliver on what many of you have requested of me over uh, my channel's lifespan, and that is to do an official ranking video of the Bond films. I'm going to keep it short and, short and sweet. If you're curious about my thoughts about any one of these movies, you can look at my you know, channel's history and find a video on most of these. However, I think you'll find my ranking interesting. It's as idiosyncratic as you might expect from me. I make no apologies about my rating ranking because my ranking is my own, and it should really just reflect my point of view, my passions, and I make no attempt here to be objective, uh, 
my perspective couldn't be objective. I've seen some of these movies in excess of 20 times. These movies are old friends, and the way a movie plays on the 20th or so viewing is radically different than it plays on a single viewing. The things that you start to potentially excuse or find endearing just because of familiarity is something that would not occur to somebody who's just encountering it in a vacuum for the first time. So this is the perspective of a seasoned Bond fan who has seen these movies probably a bit too much. And it's also just a snapshot in time. My, I reserve the right to release an entirely different ranking next year. But I do think, in broad strokes, this, this shows where I'm at with the Bond series, what I value about it. And I look forward to hearing from all of you in the comments about this uh, ranking of the Bond films, even if it's just to roast me. And by all means, roast away. I think that's part of the fun of something like this. So I wish you all a very happy Global James Bond Day. And here's my ranking of the 25 official Bond films.